about to be stopped in Lake Pool Road over. Uh, hasn't stopped yet. Uh, just bear with This looks like a simple police stop, but officers knew these men were intent on causing mass murder. They wanted to commit one of the worst terrorist atrocities ever seen on British soil. Ashi Kali, Irfan Khalid and Irfan Nazir planned to detonate up to eight rucksack bombs in crowded places. Known as Big Irfan and Little Irfan, they both spent 15 months in terror training camps in Pakistan. They shared all they knew with Ali, who provided a safe house to meet. In the UK, all three passed themselves off as charitable men, but the cash they collected was to fund their plot. They were deadly serious and they were hell-bent uh, because of the training that they'd had and the things that they said on committing these acts. There's no doubt whatsoever they were going to build bombs and martyr themselves and kill as many people as they could. Inspired by Al-Qaeda, the cell criticised the 7-7 London bombers for not putting nails in their explosives. In Ali's council flat in Balsall Heath, Birmingham, they assembled bombs. Nazir, a trained chemist, wrote instructions. The men had raised more than £13,000 by pretending to collect for Muslim aid. A fourth man, Raheen Ahmed, banked it. But he gambled it away on the commodities market, losing £9,000. Jahan Mahmood saw them collecting money on this road in Spark Brook. He knew Irfan Khalid. I remember him to be a calm, mild-mannered, respectful young man. He never caused us any issue whatsoever. But to then see him in the newspapers and just charges that, that, are, that are made against him, I mean, it's just shocking. I spoke to a number of local community members about this issue, and they do feel betrayed. They feel taken advantage of. They've given money for charitable reasons, and it's been used for something other than what they expected it to be used for. So people are very upset, they're incensed. Police secretly recorded the gang's conversations. While no specific locations were discussed, it was clear they wanted somewhere busy to target. As well as suicide bombers, they talked of using assault rifles and poisons, all designed to kill and maim as many innocent people as possible. This time, it was stopped, but officers admit people could have come forward from within this community. The plot had been developing for years. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Sparkbrook, Birmingham.